Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing microservice architecture in NestJS using Redis. So I have created a new application called API Gateway. Inside the source, I will remove controller test file, controller as well as service. Also the in app, app module remove the reference because we will no longer use these files. Now we will generate a module using NestJS CLI. So in this scenario, we will use Nest G for generate MO for module and our module name which is orders. This will create say orders folder in our source directory. Within inside this directory, we can see this module is created by the name of orders. Uh, we will also create a controller using the same way using nest cli for orders module this will create orders controller and update it in our orders module we can see in app module orders module is imported let's remove the test file and inside the orders controller we will create a route which will be act for creating orders So this create orders my route will accept as a body customer property and the order non property which we will use for testing. So for now we both will be listing and we will return this as as it is. Now a route is created. We can test our route using postman so let's start our application development mode in postman we will make a request to localhost port 3000 slash orders using post request in payload we will provide customer as a email and order nom as a string After that if we make a request we can see it successfully resolved so that now our API gateway is working fine and we have a route. Now we will move into notification service. I have created a application using NestJS CLI and by the name of notification service. In notification service in the first I will remove those file which we will not use like app controller app service and also its reference from app module to use nestjs microservice we have to add two dependencies one is nestjs microservices and for redis we have to install io redis package After those packages are installed successfully, we will convert or make it compatible our app U2 microservice. We will use app.connect microservice method, which is type is microservice option, and this function is accept some properties like transport. In this scenario, it will be Redis, and also in the options property, we have to define port which will be our currently running redis port so let's get this port from redis cli we can see it's running on port 6379 if you don't have redis install you first need to install it and the host will be localhost after that we have to start our microservice using start all microservice asynchronously so everything is configured fine we will change our port default 3000 to 4000 because our api gateway is using same port 3000 now we start this application in development mode to check everything is working properly we can see it's working fine so now we will move into our api gateway 
to connect our microservice inside the API gateway so that we can emit an event whenever a order is created. In API gateway, we have to first install NestJS microservice package as well as IO Redis package to make it connect with other microservice. After installation, we will open orders module and inside the imports array, we will use client module from NestJS microservice and use its register method which accept array of object. Inside the object, we will first define a name for this microservice. Let's call it notification service. And inside this option, we will provide the port as same as our notification service options, where this port is and the host is localhost. Let's fix the spelling. Now that we can connect this microservice using the inject decorator. So inside the order controller constructor, we will use inject decorator from NestJS command and provide this name which we define in configuration. And use the client and type will be client proxy from NestJS microservice. After that, we can emit an event, this dot client dot emit method, and this will accept as a string, which is event name, and the second parameter is the payload, which we will send when an event is emitted. So let's send customer and order now. One thing I forgot to add in client module register configuration, which is transport. So we have to define transport as a radius. So now we can see everything is fine and our application is running perfectly. So let's get back to notification service and create a module. Let's call it mailer as well as create a controller for mailer module inside this controller we will first remove the test file and inside this controller we will define a handler route as well as the event pattern decorator so the event pattern accept as a string which we have defined in emit function and after that let's create a method let's call it handle order created this will accept a parameter which is data this data will came from when the event is emitted for now we'll add console log and let's start this application in development mode to test so if i open postman and make a request we can see in notification service a console is printed if i hit it again with another payload we should see there another console log is printed so that now when an order is created a event is emitted to redis and inside the notification service we can see we can get this data whenever an event is emitted and we can perform our logic inside the notification service based on the event and its data so that's it about implementing Redis microservice in NestJS. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.